given diameter A to B, so which means I can find center is actually the midpoint. Can you see that? Midpoint of the two point will be the center of circle. Okay? I'm not drawing accurate diagram by the way. Ah. Okay, if you need, you draw. So I just want the idea of how can I form equation of circle because I need two info. One is this midpoint O. Another one is this radius R, right? Okay. Okay. So I only want a picture to help me for this 4A. Okay. So I do first one to find center. I do midpoint of A and B. So what's A and B? A we have uh, 6 plus 12 for the x position divided by 2. Then y is negative 2 plus 6 divided by 2 as well. Okay, so let's see what's the center here. So here we have 9 and 2. So for radius up to you, you can do point O to A or O to B. So let me just find radius here. Let's see which are nicer. Okay, doesn't matter. Let me use point B, okay? I'll use radius by doing an OB distance. So distance is a Pythagoras, so I'm going to use this 9, 2. I'm going to use the B, which is 12, 6, okay? So X minus X square, because the Pythagoras center will be plus. Then Y minus Y square. Then you calculate this. Should be getting a straight wave fine radius. So once we have center and radius, so to form the equation of circle, it's going to be x minus, remember you take the center, which is this 9, square. So same thing is the Pythagoras formula, just that we use center and the variable x. Then we use y minus 2 square equals to radius square, okay? I'm going to write 25. So that's my answer for part A. Remember, it's radius square, so I can do 25, I'll do 25. Then just check the question again. They didn't say any form, I'll leave it this one, okay? I'm going to expand. So we're done with question A. Right. So next question. This one, tangent to the circle at A. So what you can see here, if I'm going to find tangent to a circle is, I draw, remember my diagram is not uh, following, I just sketched only, okay? I didn't really bother where is the coordinates, okay? I just want to see tangent is this line here touching A, which means uh, you need to know that this one is 90 degree to the radius, okay? Tangent and radius is like 90 degree. So I want to form this line here. I already have point A, which is, 6, negative 2, okay? So remember, in coordinate geometry, we want to form a line equation. We need two info, a point, and also a gradient. So we don't have a gradient, that's why we have this, this one, okay? This 90. Because if I can find gradient here, then I can form gradient here as well, okay? I take the perpendicular gradient. So first, I do the gradient for OA first. So, or AB up to you, okay? So let me just take gradient OA. So what's... O, O is 9, okay, so I take, uh, sorry, uh, Y coordinate first, okay, Y minus Y, so this one, minus this one, then X minus X, I minus 6, okay, let's see what I have here, I have a uh, 4 over 3, okay, that's correct, then I take the perpendicular, okay, perpendicular, chain sign, I chain negative, swap 3 over 4, Okay, so I have gradient. I pair with this point here. Let's form an equation. So y minus y. So minus minus, sorry, as plus 2 equal gradient. That's a negative 3 over 4. Then x minus 6. Okay. Now this one here, they asked me to prove without fraction. Okay, so let's do it one time without fraction. So I will multiply this 4 to this one and this one here. Okay, to the left. So what happened to this negative? You decide. You either give your 4 or 3, but not both, okay? So I'm going to like circle this one. I'm going to distribute here and here. Of course, you don't circle. Huh? I'm now telling you the explanation. You just have to imagine you circle this and ex uh, expand inside, okay? If not, your teacher very hard to mark your work over here. Okay, now I times 4 here. I'll have 4y plus 2 
plus 2 times 4, that's an 8, equals to, I expand negative inside, it's a negative 3x. Be careful, negative, negative here, you have a plus 18 here, okay? Plus 18, let's see what they, they want. Okay, they want 4y and 3x on the left, let's just, okay, I have no more space here. 4y and 3x move to the left. Okay, then equals to the number move to the right, right? So I have 18 minus 8, which is a 10. Okay, so we have shown part B. Oh, the coordinate geometry, you are learning this in school, right? Y minus Y1 equals to M, X minus X1, this one. So this one, Y1, X1 is the point. It's a point that you sub in. So it means whatever point that the line goes through, you can sub it in. And then this M is the gradient. Remember just now I told you about, you want to form a line equation, you need to info a point and a gradient. So these X, Y are variable. Okay, can? Forming a straight line equation, you need to info a point and a gradient here. So I underline. The red color one, you need to substitute. Of course, you can use this one, but I don't like. This one. <laughs> Remember, MX plus C. Uh, you can also use this one, you put gradient, you put a point to 5C, then you change back. Yeah, but uh, if you can learn this one, it's just faster because when I sub it in, right, this is already a line equation, okay? It just has not arranged properly. So this version, okay, because this question won this version, what's other version? Uh, this type of, you can rearrange Y as subject if you need to, lah, right? Yeah, so thanks for asking. So what we are doing is this one, okay, to form the line and proved it in the way they want it. So the first time we do this one,